Okay, guys. Uh, welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved here uh, on Delgaro uh, for the moment. And I say for the moment like I do most of the time just because uh, we are going to be traveling to multiple maps playing cluster style gameplay. So uh, we're here today with our little dudes. Um, it's moving day. I'm going to try to bring the whole crew uh, up to the uh, the new base. Well, the new, you know, building site for the base. We've got a few foundations laid. Uh, what I kind of want to do here is get everybody... Uh, I want to get everybody up there. So let's get out of third person. Uh, I'm going to leave. I guess I can have them follow us too. I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna we're gonna say, hey everybody, follow. Everybody. And then maybe uh we'll get on this guy. So I scouted uh the last episode, you know, we laid a few foundations and uh what we had and I sort of scouted um you know, the way back, just to see. Get some wood while we're going. So yeah, basically I scouted the way up uh, to the plateau. And I didn't see anything super bad. I mean, there's a couple of rafters and whatever. So nothing super horrible. Um, Alpha Rex is like... <laughs> he's Dodos. Don't stand a chance. So essentially, we got to run all the way down the beach here. Um, what is happening? Are we, are we having a fight? Is nobody? Why is everybody out in the water? Come on! Are they actually coming? What is going on? Here's the moss chops. All right, so we got everybody. What? Come on, man, get out of the way. They dead? Did they kill those jellyfish? Very uh, much not. Okay, the jellyfish were coming after him. Oh, wait. I guess they got him. Let's go, folks. I don't know what they were going after. It must have been something I hit with my tail. along these rocks out here. Everybody coming? Uh, I pretty much know nobody's got my back here. Uh, at least for sure the two moss chops will be bailing at the sight of anything. Literally anything. Chickens. They should rename them chickens. Chicken chops. So, if you're not familiar with the map, you can see just over this rock right here on the very left top of the screen uh, is a turtle. He's actually a, he's actually a node. Wow. Did I just get that bird? I'm not sure what happened. Oh, the moss chops is uh, moss chops is. What are they doing? Come on, guys. This is like... It's like herding cats, only it's herding moss. Oh my god. It's a frickin' nightmare. Come on, guys. Where are the dillos at? actively trying to kill something? What is it you're doing? This 
swear, if they run into the water, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot them myself. It. Oh my god. What are you guys doing? This is a nightmare. <laughs> so this is what I was talking about anyway. Alright, so we get the chance. So he's basically a resource node. So we can uh, can whack away at him. We get some keratin from this guy. Chopai, it's the plural of Moss Chopses. Moss Chopses is. Okay, are we done? Are we done? Alright, guys. <laughs> what did we get, about 12 feet? Whoa! Is that Alpha? I'd love to kill him and get some resources, but uh, not happening yet. All right, is everybody coming? We got two Delos. Okay. Yeah. At least this way, only one Moss Chops will run away. Get all this. <laughs> it's Miss Chops. Did I not? Uh... No, I definitely don't need all of these. Uh... Where did you get all that meat, lady? Lighten a load a tiny bit here. And we've already lost, uh, we've already lost daylight because of these skirmishes. Come back and get you guys one at a time. Let's go. Well, <laughs> this is for in a time. He's just so fast. He's on top of me. Another Jabot? Chops actually attack if they're mate boosted or if there's more than one of them? How come they're not running? I thought they were fleeing into the water. It looks like they're actually. Maybe I'm learning stuff about Moss Chops. Forward. Okay, I feel like uh, it's like I feel like I'm Noah. 
There's another one. Oh, these things are everywhere. I'll probably get more keratin if I did it myself, but uh, well, we need the keratin chitin because we're gonna get us. Uh, what are we up to here? We're up to level 45. We still got a ways to go, but I think we gotta get in the low 60s, uh, maybe 61 or two to get uh, to get us a, an RG. And RG is the goal. That's the first major goal. So yeah, grabbing an RG is the uh, kind of the first major goal. I want it. I want an RG before. Too heavy. Oh, honestly, I picked up some stone. Okay. Give you. Some spoiled meat. Maybe actually the heavy thing of stone. There we go. Let's see what this weight is. Good. Where did the chops go? Come here, Miss Chops. Alright, these guys really will be useful um, for kibble eggs. They're not super useful at the moment, although they're you know they're good at gathering fiber. You do need lots. Of <laughs> it's gonna kill stuff rather than go around it, especially if it's a parasol. Are you serious? This is another one. I don't think I've ever seen these guys on the beach. I've played hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on Belgaro. And I've seen them up in the plains, up top, up there. I don't think I've ever seen them right here. Six levels, oh my goodness. Okay. Well, what do we want here? Come on. Let's wait. I'll put a couple to actual health. There we go. Oh, okay, you done with your dancing? I guess maybe that could be a thing. Right, we level somebody up and just watch their little. Little happy dance. So as we get further down here, uh, we run the risk of, of bumping into uh, racks or aloes or something. I think I see something. Around. What is that? It's going pretty fast. That could be bad. Too many of those fights, though. Everybody, all right? I think we're good. We're getting a little moonlight here. Hopefully, that's the only major issue. in the way. I almost left him behind, but I figured, you know, he's a quick way to get back. 
Because I do want to get back, I need to bring the boat further down so we can get at the boat easier. So we are going to be using the boat still uh, for transport. Uh, the Archies are great, but they're super slow. And the boat's pretty slow, but we could use the RG and the boat together. Uh, you know, to, there, there's a cave all the way at the other end, way back that way, that has uh, just crazy amounts of oil in it. I think there's a crystal cave down there somewhere, too. Regretting this Pteranodon already. We did see uh, these big guys down here. Those guys are idiots. They just push us all over the place. I'm gonna totally kill him if he starts doing that. I won't have it. So at some point in these cliffs, there is a there is a break in the cliff. And if this pteranodon, oh my god, could get out of the way. Getting all wicked mad for no reason. Alright, this idiot is. Kinda looks like everybody's there. Wow, another that's is that three? Three sheep we've seen. I, I, like I said, I've seen plenty of sheep in this map, just not on the beach right here. Wonder if they've made some changes. Okay, here comes Miss Chops. I see the Textego, who's nameless. I see Vincent. I see Jules. Is that Mr. Chops right there? Okay, well, if it's not, we'll come back. This is the right way. Did I go too far? I might have actually missed it. We might be taking the long scenic route. Okay, here we go. here. Ahead. Oh. And what does that text egos get like? How many points did I invest in there? Yeah, I see Miss Chops, Mr. Chops, the two little guys. Uh, I'm sorry, the two big tough hitmen. I can't believe I, I didn't remember Jules. Jules is like, I remember Vincent, but <laughs> Jules is like, I don't know, the best character in that movie. And I couldn't remember his name. Uh, you guys can make it up here. 
Run, Forrest, run. So, yeah, I think... I think we went... the long way. So that's not a big deal, except, you know, it exposes you to more danger. It takes way longer. having a beef with you. Yeah, we went way too far. Shouldn't have been doing this in the dark, I guess. Come on, guys. Some of chops to family. So this pointy rock is where we were supposed to come up. So yeah, we went uh, way too far. Maybe uh, Herf shouldn't have done that in the dark. And we got a Rex over there. Let's ignore him for now if we can. over there. Let's ignore him also. Let them fight their battles. We are out of the skirmish business if we can avoid it. For the time being. Y'all coming? There they are. Please let me run closer to the T-Rex so you can see where we're going. Like 80 times. Insurmountable obstacle for my team. Here you go. Come on, geniuses. Freaking miracle if we all survive this and we're almost there. Everybody, we 
do. Any chance you guys can navigate this? Any chance? Griff doesn't want to turn around and have to break every rock that we see. This is actually a good berry gathering ground for Mr. Stego. <laughs> Can't grow up the hill. Well, they're actually doing a good job. We have to do a head count when we get up here. I don't trust them. Could be seeing some raptors up here. A nice max level tech raptor that I could just jump off and bola. Actually, I'm going to keep an eye on my bolas. I have used quite a few of them. Uh, so. Alright, here's our little starter base. Stop. Vincent Jules. Mr. and Mrs. Chop. Mr. and Miss Chop, to be completely correct. Alright. You guys all have uh, plenty of food. Um, Alright, I'm going to leave them there. You know what? Actually, come here, Mr. Stego. I'm going to give you these things. You will hold these things. Uh, oh, he actually took a little bit of a beat in there. Each berries heal up. Got some alabrains. Now may. Oh, we got a few arrows for her, though. That's sweet. All right, we'll leave those there for now. I'm going to go back and get the raft, you dudes. Chill out. following the Pteranodon. Okay. I made the mistake of apparently whistling them. Alright, you guys are all not following anybody, right? Okay. Let's go get the boat. So yeah, we're supposed to come up just right over there. Uh, we went way too far. Uh, Hearth makes mistakes all the time. Probably gonna run out of stam, fall in the water right in front of that alpha shark, and it's gonna get chomped on. No, Hearth's more responsible than that. He likes to think. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you this, uh, this is what it looks like. I got one side kind of built, I've been doing a ton of grinding here, um, all day, all night, and then again during the day. Uh, so you can see the side here, I've got a couple of, uh, got a few walls on it as well, because I want to start putting down, uh, smithies and things. We've been able to unlock a few engrams, so we've unlocked, uh, Fabricator, we've unlocked... Uh, industrial grill. Uh, we've unlocked the uh, generator, so there's several things, a lot of the power, cabling. Um, so you can see how it's going to be uh, one-sided there, and then where the triangles are, kind of straight up at, uh, at 12 o'clock, and then you've got again at, uh, is it like 10 o'clock? So we're going to have six juts off of this thing once it's fully built, but like I said, I wanted to get this one sort of going so that we can place a few of our uh, sort of uh, you know, workshop type things so that we can get going. Uh, and I hit up two drops, and we got, or maybe three, but we've gotten uh, 
Got a couple of water jars. So, Mr. Constantly Thirsty is, uh, isn't constantly thirsty anymore. So that's good. Actually, you know what? I want to show you one thing. Because we actually got, um, a couple of really good... I put the stuff from the drops in here. We did get the blueprint for the medium crop plot, which is definitely... I mean, that's a boss fight right there. Blueprint for the scope... Neither of those things obviously help us. We did get this, so... Check this one out, though. An Anki saddle. Look at the armor rating on that. 175, does that say? 170-something. That is unbelievable. That's a fantastic saddle. Uh, this is a... We got a Morella Tops. I don't really care about that, but we'll hang on to it for now. And this saber is pretty good. It's almost 100, so decent. And we also got us a, a water well, which I don't really care about. And I think that was it. We got a couple of water jars, and then we got some other blueprints for structures, like adobe stuff that I just dropped. I don't care about either one of these blueprints, so I'm dumping them. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. So we're going to start working on... Uh, like I said, some fabricators, smithies, uh, I want to get a few furnaces going. So the building is going to slow down because we're going to just start gathering resources here. Uh, that's it. Just wanted to give you an update and uh, we'll be back. We're going to put uh, one of these guys right in the corner. Tiny bit. That looks pretty good, like it's facing the right way. These guys are a little hard to get oriented because they wanna they wanna be put at an angle. It's kind of annoying. And I'm gonna put the third one right over here. quick. It's going to get hot right there, too. Um, now what I want to do is, honestly, I want to, it's kind of annoying, but I want to put the smithy right in the middle. Um, because we're going to have fabricator on this side. Okay, so ladder technique. Place the ladder down. Pick it up. Still looking straight. Put the smithy where you want it. It's kind of like right in the middle. And it's going to go right out the middle of the door. I want it a little bit closer to this side. I can get in and out of here. That's perfect. Okay. Perfect. And it's not really in the way of the door. We're going to have the fabricator right over here. So we'll be able to do fabricator stuff, smithy. This stuff, smithy. So it'll be a nice, uh... Be a nice little setup. Um, okay, I've also got... Uh, this side's not done correctly. This side is done correctly. All right, we can move... Um, by this side, I mean this little edge. So we're going to have a wall here, a wall here, and then this will jut out like that did. So I want to utilize this little piece right here. So I'm going to do a lot of technique again. You have to get it on the right spot of the foundation so you can climb it. Or else you'll be looking at the other end of it. Or, like, trying to climb the wrong side is what I mean, so... It's obviously too far, I need to bring it in. 
Like we're roughly in the middle, doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, I could get a little closer to the wall there. Let's pick him back up. Kind of wish I had a wall to place there, but I don't. better. Alright, we can fit the wall there. It's not too much room between that and the wall. You can see the wall takes up a little space coming in. So that'll actually look okay. That's perfect. Uh, so this guy... So we get ourselves the beginnings of a little workshop here. Okay. So, uh, in the meantime, I should let you guys know that, uh... We've been pumping up levels here. We're up to 50 watt. So... I've been just, uh, we've had to repair the, uh, the axe, uh, a second time, and we're, what's that, about 20% down again. So we've been obviously, you know, I was grinding, doing a lot of the foundations, and then just doing stuff to make the smithy and to make these guys, and, uh, we stole some stuff from the boat. But, uh, anyway, all this resulted in a bunch of levels, and, uh, we have learned cryopod which you can't see in here but uh so we learned empty cryopod um so now what i want to do is uh as i want to get a couple of those um cryopods made so for that we need crystal uh we need fiber and hide we have that kind of stuff but we need crystal for that we need electronics i don't actually know we don't need electronics we need crystal hide fiber we need oil polymer in metal. So the metal I have a bit of, um, the polymer we can get from the dolphins down on the beach, uh, which we will do in the next episode. We know Crystal is just up over that away, uh, and that's really the only hard stuff. So I think night's setting in here, so I think we're gonna, uh, we're going to call it a day uh, in this episode, and uh, thanks as always for watching. Uh, if you find yourself enjoying what we do, uh, throw us a like and subscribe. It really would help us out. And uh, thanks again for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks.